Now, what I'd really like to do right now, before I go into that warehouse, is drink from a coffee machine. Now, to get back, see, this one's probably still on cooldown because I drank from it not too long ago. This one I know is good to go, but the enemies I'd have to walk past to get to it, it's not practical. I might just use a uh, syringe instead. Because that's such that's so out of the way to do that. If I was not recording, I probably would do it. Lily? Lily? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, because I am recording, Shit. definitely uh, not going to do it. For, the, for your guys' sakes. I know you'd hate to watch that. Oh my god, he's running all the way back to the beginning. It's going to take forever, and he's fucking recording it. Well, actually, I would probably just edit it out, honestly, if I did do it. Came from upstairs. Let's kick that oil barrel over. Now, I was I was giving it a lot of thought, uh, subconsciously while I was talking this whole time. Fighting those crawly guys out there would be fucking suicide. Cause open area, you're you're easy pickings. They're so fucking fast. And they just gang up on you. Because there's three of them, I believe. So what I'm actually going to do, and I think it's really my only option, is to run back into the warehouse once I make them spawn. And, uh... Maybe what I could do is, uh, like, use that oil barrel, and then... But they're probably going to be so fucking fast that I'm still going to have to keep running, so I'll come through this door. Maybe go up there. That way, like, they're coming at me from one straight direction. They can't, like, pincer me or flank me or anything. They'll have to come up the stairs to get me. And that should be fine, all well and good, really. Wow, this fucking box is in my way. Lame! You can actually kill him before he gets away, but the box blocked me off so hard there. It was really lame. That wasn't cool, game. It wasn't cool. Oh, God. Oh, you have an axe. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Oh, wait. He's still alive. Whew. Once again, I went to axe him, and it didn't one-shot him. So I guess it's just, uh... I guess it's just, like, bad luck or random, like... Whether or not the axe will one hit him or not. Because come to think of it, when you go to upgrade your melee, like in non-classic mode, it does say that whenever you put an upgrade point into melee combat, that um, it ups the damage on not only your knife, but your axes too. So come to think of it, that's probably why it doesn't one-shot. Probably because it, you know, it's was never a guarantee to one shot. Okay, before I forget, I'm gonna use that fucking syringe. Boom! That's actually not too bad that I used it too, because that frees up a space for another syringe. And you never want to be like full on stuff, because then you just will never be able to pick up anything. Actually, I totally forgot to uh, grab those items in there. I was supposed to do that first. Eh, I'll just. Maybe I'll just kill the crawly guys first. Maybe I'll just do that. It's possible. Maybe. Possibly. Another doll. Hopefully. Where's Lily? I'm getting so nervous. Like, I feel like I'm about to have a heart attack. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to do, like, a public speech in front of a whole group of people. Holy shit, dude. I'm so fucking nervous. This, this fight is so nerve-wracking coming up. Because those crawly guys are so fucking dangerous. Like, no joke. So close. So close. Alright. See what we can do. Okay, in case I do have to use a bolt, I'm going to have my shock bolts on equipped. Definitely going to be as prepared as possible. Fuck you and your conversation. Let's go. 
Let's go. All right. Here we go. Trolley guy fight coming up. God damn, dude. I'm legitimately so fucking nervous. I know if I can just beat these guys, I'm so close to the save point. I'm so close! We're almost done chapter three! Oh, I forgot about this part. It's completely, uh, you know, just walk on by and then view it type deal. Oh my god, you're done, you fucking... <sighs> Deep breaths. I, w I won't feel not sick to my stomach until I until I kill these fuckers. Oh, I just I just gotta play it cool. Like I can't panic because I'm building this up to be this big fucking deal. It's just making me more prone to to screwing it up. You gonna leave? There we go. I almost thought for a second he'd like stay there and kill me or something. <laughs> You! The girl! Where is she? The girl! Where the fuck is she, man? Where the fuck you take my girl? Okay, okay. Don't let the- don't- don't show them your fear, Matt. Don't show them your fear! You just- you fucking take it like a man! Oh! He's right the fuck behind me, and he hit me. Not good. Oh! Oh! Get to the door! Get through! Run, 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 run! Okay. Use the health real quick. Now just wait it out. Wait it out. Holy shit, I killed two of them! Holy shit, I killed two of them with the fire. There's only one left. Oh, thank Christ. Okay, we're in good shape. We're in good shape, Matt. Now you just gotta kill one. That's not bad. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Run, 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 run. Holy, they're fast, dude. I want to reload, but I'm too nervous. <sighs> oh my god, yes! Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, Matt. You can relax. You can swallow that excess bile build up. Nasty. But we did it. We fucking did it. Oh my god, yes. Alright, so now this triggers all the res newly spawned enemies across chapter 3. Now there's a bunch of crawly guys. Uh, coughing guys. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be good times ahead. But honestly, we picked up majority of the items that we want. Uh, just, you know, scattered around. So... We're not doing too bad as far as that's concerned. I'd say I'd say we're doing pretty good. Like most of the items that I haven't picked up were too high risk for the reward. But 
I feel like I've gotten, like, almost about as much items that I could possibly get with, with no resistance. So I feel like I'm doing pretty good on that front. If I'm being completely honest. Holy fuck, man. I... <laughs> That was nerve-wracking as fuck, dude. I'm actually gonna run back and pick up those handgun bullets that were in the room with the doll. Because I'm pretty sure I left it like four in there, and that, that's totally worth running back for. Especially considering how many handgun bullets I used. I'm shocked I didn't have to use my shotgun. Uh, that was pretty interesting. But wow, that staircase tactic worked out like a charm, dude. Uh, he, Like, I got so many free shots on him. Because he would take so long to get up the stairs. He, he had so much trouble pathing to actually get up them. It was very interesting. Like, for a bit, he was stuck under the stairs. And at, when he wanted to get up, he'd, like, walk slowly all the way around. Gave me so much time to fuck him up. Like, that, that was great. That actually worked out beautifully. And I could not believe that I got two of those fuckers with the oil canister. That was amazing. That worked out so beautifully. I feel like that fight could have went like one of six ways, you know? Like, it felt like... Because cause those enemies are so unpredictable. Like, they're they're just coming at you faster than you have time to think. And you, you have to just instinctively react to them. You can't, you can't really plan out the fight as it's happening. Because they're just going to fucking rip you apart. Um... So, you know, I'm, I'm amazed that that worked out as well as it did. That was amazing. That was amazing! God damn, dude. Boom! Oh, I need a breather. <laughs> I need a fucking breather. Holy... Okay, guys. I've had a minute to just take a breather. Um, you know, gather my thoughts. Plan out what I'm going to do next. It, it takes me a little bit to remember what exactly is coming up. So I had to, like, take a minute to do that. And now we're coming up to the part where um, we're, we're moments away from Chapter 4. But I'm actually not... Good. What I'm supposed to do right now is to just run back to O'Neill. And that's very easy. There's there's uh, no real problems in the way if you know how to avoid them. Which I do. And uh, as long as I can get back there, uh, I'm for the most part in the clear, but there's just one more risk that I'm actually willing to take. Now what I want to do here is just sneak past. I don't want that chick to see me. That's for sure. If she chased me down the street, I'd be fucking done. But it looks like we avoided her for the most part. And now you just want to really hug this side of the road. None of the enemies will really uh, notice you. As long as you're sneaking. There's a ton of enemies over there, so you don't want to fuck this up. But uh, I'm actually going to run for it now, because uh, I'm almost there. But once I get back to O'Neill's... What I can really do is, um, because you're supposed to run back to the other save point, the one uh, across town from where I am right now, to get to my next objective, which is entering the marrow for the first real time that you're supposed to. That's what I have to do next. But, uh, what I want to do is run to the second save point and save my game right before I enter the marrow. I think that that would be the, uh, I think that that would be the most ideal point for me to save, because I don't want to do any of the marrow until I save. But, uh, I'm thinking that that's what I want to do. It's just, it's, it's a risk, because now that all the new enemies have respawned, um, there's no real easy way to go, if that makes any sense. There, you have three choices, really. You can either go the way I just came from, the side on the warehouse, like up that street. Uh, actually, there's kind of four ways to go. So either up that street, so I can sneak up the path with the train cars. The Back again, you're getting... My daughter. Yes, let's... 
Or, um... Well, I can also open these lockers, actually. I have some keys. Let's do it. Let's do it! Wow. Six herbs. It's like the worst thing I could have fucking got. Ten hangar bullets. I'll leave those there for when I really need them. Because I don't need them right now. But, uh... Yeah, so ideally, uh, I'd love to save at the other save point, but like I was saying, um, it's quite a risk to do that. Because uh, you can either go up that street where the warehouse is, or um, or you could go on the side street closest to the church of where I am now, or you could go even further right and go up the forest. But if you go anywhere where there's trees... There's crawly guys. Like, there's crawly guys hidden up in all the trees and shit, and... It's dangerous as fuck, to say the least. I can't pick up these shotgun bullets. That's a damn fucking shame. A damn shame! That That is legitimately so cringe. Leaving behind shotgun shells? Oh my god, that's gonna pain me. It's gonna quite physically make me ill. But you know what's good for that? Coffee. But, uh, yeah, so I'm actually going to risk it all. I'm going to try and uh, get to the other save point, which is pretty much going to entail me to run past enemies. But I'm going to sneak past them as best I can. Not sure now. You most of, but they're past, we call it, it doesn't make I'm going to try my damnedest, but there's pretty much, like there's, there's, there's no real path of least so, resistance here. Like, every path is risky, no matter which one you take. There's definitely worse paths than others, but, like, for example, if you just go up the right street, like, past the church, towards the, where I got the shotgun, uh, there's only regular enemies that way. Like, regular zombies. No real, uh, crawly guys or anything like that. So now we're on chapter four. Didn't think we'd make it this far, but we did. Well, I mean, I hoped we'd make it this far, but... Yeah. It's another thing entirely. But here we go. Oh, man. this uh, Once again, my, my heart is in my throat right now. Because if I don't make it to that fucking save point... I'm going to be quite upset. Quite upset indeed. But basically the idea here is just fucking run. Here we go. I might be a little quiet at this part. Simply because I'm nervous as fuck. Right up ahead up there is where... Oh, ah, I fucking hate when he does that. Right up ahead is where the uh, tons of enemies are. So what I want to do is just... Sneak my way. There's all the enemies. That's a lot of enemies. Search this trash can real quick. As you can see, there's a crawly guy right there up in the tree. And now, what I'd like to do here... I'm gonna wait for that guy to turn around, just next to the car there. And then, I'm gonna just kinda sneak my way over. Run. Okay. Wow, I did that amazingly. That actually went so fucking well. Gonna run past this bitch. If you could just get past her, you're in the clear. Go, 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 go! Run! Whew! 
Okay, we made it. Holy shit. Whew, so nervous. Holy shit. We finally made it to the fucking save point. This is where I am legitimately going to make my first save of the game. Holy shit. That was... Oh my god. This mode is actually causing me so much fucking stress, but I'm actually more excited about how well I'm doing rather than how stressed I am, which is pretty fucking nice. Now, I actually just want to enter the save point here because, real quick because uh, I, I'm wondering when the shooting gallery appears. There it is. Okay, so the shooting gallery's here. Now, more interesting about the shooting gallery, what the hell are the rewards? Because it can't be weapon parts and gel, not on uh, classic mode. So let's just quickly find out and see what the hell I'm in for. Is this? It's a chance to test your skills. Because I might ideally want to actually, um, like if there's some rewards I can earn, I might want to get those real quick. This is insane. This is insane. <laughs> be insane to pass this up. Steady your hand and put your shooting skills to work. <laughs> no need to worry about ammunition in here. But, uh, yeah, if I can get some neat stuff for this, I might want to grab it before I save just so that I'd have it for when I save. You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm fucking saying? I'm so slow at this shit, man. Yeah, baby. Oh, I didn't hitch out one of those enemies. That's unfortunate. You're the best around, detective. And nothing's ever gonna keep me down. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the fucking shooting alley. Oh wow, so it just gives you a bunch of gunpowder. Fucking sweet, dude. Alright, so let's see. Got the gunpowder for that. Herbs for normal. Gunpowder and a key for hard. A shit ton of herbs for very hard. That's actually awesome because very hard was the only difficulty that I couldn't get rewards on. Uh, because it was just so hard. And uh, I, I care about herbs the least, honestly. Alright, I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna... Might as well do this because... Uh, I'd rather have it, like, saved and recorded that I've gotten all these rewards before I actually make a save. That way I'll have all my, uh, you know, items and shit. Fuck. Shit. Woo! Almost missed that shit. Miss one of them. I'm like so much better at this in RE4, it's not even funny. Like, I don't know why I shoot so fucking slow. Oh, I didn't kill him? Are you serious? Wow, I needed one more shot. Perfect. You may very well be the best. Detective. Did I still get the rewards? Oh, sweet, I did. Awesome. Perfect. I <laughs> fucked that up so royally. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. But, yeah, I recommend doing the same, guys. Like, if, if you could follow this to, to a T, like the way I did, that'd be pretty ideal. Oh shit, I didn't see these guys, they're hidden. Oh my... 
I think I'm still fine though. Oh, how the fuck didn't I? Ooh! Ooh, that trick shot at the end there. You're the best around, detective. And nothing's ever going to keep me down. Nothing. <laughs> damn, look at that. Got my key too and gunpowder. God damn. God damn, I'm doing pretty good. I won't lie. Okay, so I got all my gunpowders. This one I won't... Well, I, I guess I could try it and attempt to get the thousand and at least get the... Nah, fucking... And yeah, you know what, I will. Sure. I know I'm gonna do terrible at this, but... Might as well just get the uh, herbs. Might as well. Like, look at this. Look how fucking pathetic this is, dude. Damn it. Oh no. No. Damn it. I fucking hate that guy, dude. <laughs> no! He's so tricky. Oh shit, I need that rat. Wow, I'm just like that god awful. That's okay though. I'm not even going to try for Rubik, because I know I'll just miss. Holy shit. Well, at least I got the four. <laughs> Whatever. I must say, that is impressive, Detective. No, it isn't. I did fucking terrible. I did fucking terrible, man. Yeah, alright. That's the best I can expect for now. Now I'll do this one. Like I've, I'm very bad at this one. I don't really know why, but... I find this one to be pretty fucking difficult, honestly. Uh, oh shit, well that was a problem. Hey, let's go. I'm just like, just that fucking slow on the trigger, or... It's actually, it seems like it's best to, uh, wait until they've all dropped for the, uh, for the maximum amount of points. Damn, I actually lost some points at the end there. I don't mean to discourage you, detective, but that left much to be desired. Damn it. Okay, so I got the one reward. <laughs> Shit, I was so close to the herbs. But oh well, I honestly... Okay, so I'm comfortable with, with that. With having all those rewards done, I'm good. I'm comfortable making my save now. That is fine and good and dandy. So let's do it. I'm actually going to head back to the actual room and uh, save in here. Just because it's closer to where I'll actually be going. Might as well. But yeah, here we go. All right, we're all ready to make our save. Holy shit. Now, at this point, I have no idea um, whether or not I'm at the end of a part or not. I don't know how I'm going to edit it. But all I know is I'm making a save here, and I'm definitely taking a break. At least for now. And uh, if this is in the middle of a video, then you guys will see more in a second. But here we go. First save of the game. Wow, I am... Honestly, I am so happy with my progress here. Like, I'm so content with, with this. I'm so happy with this. Holy shit. Perfect. Couldn't be happier with that. I think that was like an excellent fucking start. I think I've done really well so far. I'm confident. I'm feeling good. Um, have no idea how well the rest of the game's going to go for me, but like I said, I'm confident with this. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Welcome back to Classic Mode, guys. 
How's it going? Uh, why am I treating this like it's a fucking stream? <laughs> I actually have expected you guys to answer that question. How's it go? Well, you could leave a comment. Tell me how it's going. You could do that. I suppose you could do that. But, uh... Alright, here we go. Back into classic mode. Beginning of chapter 4. Now, I was giving this a lot of thought. Okay? Because, ultimately, as it turns out, um... I saved a little too soon. Most people save right at the end of chapter 4 and the beginning of chapter 5, which is as soon as you get to, um... Fucking, why do I always forget what the place is called? The fucking, uh, the fucking building where the Guardian is. You have, you have the boss fight with her and you, you could either fight her or run. Uh, fucking, I can't for the life of me remember what the fuck the place is called, but, uh, that place. Um, but I saved here, and you know what? I actually, honestly, I don't, uh, so this is I don't think I made a bad choice. About. I th I'm, you know, I'm I'm solid with where I saved, and I think it's a good spot for you guys to save too because, um, honestly, after giving it some thought and thinking about where exactly or, yeah, thinking about where exactly all the most dangerous parts are between now and the Stefano boss fight, there's really only two. Um. There's a couple boss fights in between, but they're pretty fucking easy. Like, Stefano is one of the real, like, challenging bosses in, in comparison. But, uh, the Guardian's not that bad because you could just run from her and skip the whole fight. And then there's the, uh, the fucking, um, the Obscura. And Obscura's not that bad either, honestly. I'm kind of happy with the fact that I've saved here because um, this part coming up to fight uh, these million dudes coming up, that's what really has me nervous, is uh, this fight coming up. So, and I was thinking about it the whole time, and like I said, I'm, I'm pretty glad that I saved where I did because uh, I like that if I fuck this up, I can just retry. Like, right there. At the start. Right where we fuckers started in the video. Um, why am I looking around here? Because I am wondering if there's items. Are there items? No. There's not. So we press on. We keep going. Alright, lads. Classic mode. So, <laughs> I finally worked up the nerve to play. I won't lie. I was being a little pussy. I was like, <laughs> I don't want to go back to classic mode. But, luckily... I've worked up the nerve. And it was really just thinking about what's ahead of me. I was like, you know what? It's not that bad. Like, from here to Stefano. Because, like I said, the only thing that was really worrying me was this fight coming up right now. And because I saved before it, I have uh, I have no fears now. Because I could just infinitely retry it. Now, some people on my stream, when I was streaming Nightmare Mode... They, uh, they brought up some interesting pointers. So as you can see, there's a lot of ammo here, and we're going to be coming back for it. But, uh, apparently, and I've never tested this, but the people on my stream were telling me, if you climb up halfway up a ladder, there's nothing the enemies can do about it. They'll just keep climbing up and down the ladder trying to, like, get to you, but they, they go right through you. Like, you don't body block them. On the ladder. So I'm told. I've never actually tested this out. But they'll just keep like. Climbing right through. <coughs> I just died. That's the end of the video. Have a good day guys. And I will see you. Right now. Because we're not stopping. But uh. Fucking. Yeah. They'll just keep climbing. Uh, right through you. Up and down. So we'll just wait out the timer. Now I'm not going to leave everyone alive. I'm still going to kill. Most of the enemies in this room. Because. There's still risk with utilizing this strategy, which is that as soon as you decide, like if you were to leave too many enemies alive, and let's say you either climbed up or down the ladder, uh, there might be so many enemies that there'll still be a huge risk when running through that door and trying to get away. But my plan is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay right on that ladder there uh, when the knife chick comes out. 
and uh, I'm just going to sit there till the timer ends, and then I'm going to climb up the ladder when I see a good opportunity to do so, and then I'm going to run along that uh, stretch there, jump down from there, and then run through the door. And I think that'll give me enough time whilst evading enemies to, uh, you know, get through uh, safely. Because if the enemies track you, like, through that door, like when you run through, that's really bad. You don't want that. Because there's, uh, there's a dead end up ahead that you can only open with a switch. And you want to be really careful, because if the knife chick follows you d down that way, uh, you're going to be in real trouble. Now, I'm getting pretty damn lucky with these shots here. Because the, the shots don't always blow up their head. Oh, I actually forgot to uh, harpoon the dude up top here. Which is something I definitely want to do. There we go. Because all these enemies get up once you trigger the fight. So, it's best to deal with them right now while they're all just sitting there. Because then, uh, they're dead. And you have a lot less enemies to worry about. But I don't think I'm gonna kill anyone else. Or, I might. I want to test my theory first. I want to see if I can just avoid killing them altogether. See this guy. Okay, I missed one bullet, but, you know, whatever. I'm not gonna restart over one fucking handgun bullet. And then we're going to kill the guy in here. Now, this guy will get up if you try to, like, pick shit up. Like that, I believe. But if we just take him out first... Fuck. There we go. Just took the time to line up the shot. It, it, the, like I've said in uh, many previous gameplay videos I've made on this game, best time to shoot the enemies... Is when they do that, when they're alerted to you, when they go, wow! That's the best time to shoot them in the fucking face, because they give you the most opportunity to do so when they're doing that animation. It becomes significantly harder to hit them once you uh, let them, like, start running around and shit. So, okay, but we killed everyone that we can kill. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run back and go pick up that ammo. That was in the, the room previous. And then we're going to put my strategy to the test. Now, if it fails, I'll do a slightly different strategy um, on my second attempt. If it fails. I'll, uh, I'll have to kill some more enemies. And, uh... But I, I don't recommend killing the, the knife lady. Because that enemy is just a, a, an extreme bullet sponge. And I would not recommend it. Alright, so I think we're good to go. Let's put our theory to the test. Wow, I, I really got to get better at managing my sprint. It's a bad habit. I very often just let it deplete all the way to the end, which is a terrible thing to do. Emergency and you should never do that. Got to remember when I first did these puzzles in my in my first playthrough, they frustrated the fuck out of me because I, I didn't understand how they work. But now I have a much better understanding of how they work. And they're actually, like, hella fucking easy. Okay, hang on. Fucking... There we go. Okay. There goes the emergency bitch down. Now, am I high enough up to not get hit? I think this is good. I don't think they can hit me here. So I'm gonna just chill here. This should work. I, I think I'm high enough so that they can't hit me. So far, so good. God, look at the look on his face, man. <laughs> wow, they're not even climbing up. It's kind of awesome. I thought they would climb right, uh, right up past me, but they're not even attempting to. I might be just low enough on the ladder that they're just trying to, like, get to me, but they can't. Look at that! They all fucking gave up! <laughs> There's a lot of enemies in here, though. What I could do to prevent them from following me is I could smoke bolt as I run out into that room there. But, uh, I don't think I'll need to. 
As long as they, like, all stay across the room like they're doing right now, should be all good. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, like, when the when the doors open up, it gives you opportunity. Like, those doors that were locked, like, the ones he's going through right now, um, you know, there were items to be obtained. Oh, do I actually have to kill the guys to trigger the knife chick? Security. Do I just wait this out or fucking... Okay, there's the knife chick. Okay, I got worried. I thought I'd actually have to kill some enemies. In order to, uh... Make the the event advance. But that wasn't the case. Which is good. So now we just have to wait a bit longer. It's not much longer now after the knife chick is uh, released. Now she has discovered me. But that's all well and good. Look how fucking fast she is, man. It's nuts. <laughs> Holy shit, that's terrifying. But yeah, she should give up. And there you have it. <laughs> I've seen so many guides where people didn't do this. Uh, a lot of people's playthroughs, they, uh, they didn't implement this strategy at all. They actually fought them and used resources and shit. But, uh, as you can see, you really don't have to do that. You really don't have to bloody do that. No. Uh, it's really nice that all the enemies fucking walk away, because it gives me such an opportunity to run through that door. Once that door opens, I'm actually not gonna run up top. I'm gonna just, uh, slide down the ladder. Okay, that's my... That's my cue. Run! Dun 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 dun. Bump bump bump. Jesus, the smell. Whew! All right, we're good as gold. <laughs> That's amazing how fucking easy that fight is. I'm actually so glad that uh, people on stream told me about that. Cause my god, that uh, I was actually gonna do that fight properly and. That was fucking amazing, dude. Fucking love it. How stupid the fucking enemies are. It's great. But, uh... Yeah, now there's two enemies down here. Um... Can't really remember how to deal with them. I could just shotgun them. Or, uh, shock bolt them. But I think my bolts are a little too valuable. I don't know. Or maybe I could just climb right up the ladder and run right past them. I can try. I think that's a little risky, though. Actually, I might be able to kite them away from the ladder. And then go up the ladder. Run! Actually, they could probably follow me up the ladder, to be honest. Will they, though? Curious. Press the switch. Bitches with switches. Yeah, they're not climbing up the ladder. Huh. Well, that's cool. Just completely avoid them. It's awesome. All that was uh, on the corpse to the left was shotgun ammo, I believe. And I'm full on my shotgun ammo, so... There's no reason to, uh, to do that. No reason at all. Now this part is not that scary either, honestly. I know it's intimidating as fuck, but... What you can actually do... Is, uh... Just run right past that chick, and she won't follow you past the uh, boarded up part. Even if she spots you. Run! Remember to manage my sprint, being all careful and shit. I just let it deplete. <laughs> it's because I'm trying to get away, though. And boom, she, uh, as you can see, she doesn't follow you. Which is pretty fucking sweet. 
Now this part's a little nerve-wracking, but it is doable if you're just a careful prick about it. Now we're just going to sneak right up on this bitch. Now what you want to do here... Just keep her in the corner over there, throw the bottle, she'll go scope it out. And then we just make our way... Pick that up. I can't remember the fucking passcode. What was it? Shit. Hang on. I, I cause uh, this part's all about speed. <laughs>